Well, right now, entertainment venues say they are 30 to 60 days away from shutting down permanently. The Indiana Independent Venue Alliance says that federal dollars are their only hope. CBS 4's Kayla Sullivan reports on the proposals in the works now while time is running out. Live music venues like this were one of the first to close and will likely be the last to open. We are usually playing two or three times a week, and we've, we've had five gigs in the last four and a half months. The band Stella and the Satellites are struggling to book as many venues are staying closed during the pandemic. We're in the middle of uh, this pivot to outdoor, which is kind of a movement that's happening uh, nationwide. Josh Baker owns the Hi-Fi in Fountain Square. This outdoor transition wasn't cheap, but it was the only way to provide live music safely in Baker's eyes. While it is great and it does provide options, it's really just not economically sustainable for us. Fundraisers have got them here, but Baker says Congress decides if they have a future. Last week, the Save Our Stages Act was introduced, which is the first dedicated piece of legislation um, at a federal level which is a, essentially a, a $10 billion grant program. The Restart Act also carves out money for venues. About 90% of the, the rooms nationwide are forecast to, to close without any federal relief. Though these venues have received some local dollars, it wasn't enough to sustain them. They have no idea what the plan is once winter weather hits. We're just trying to use this small window of time to try and generate any amount of revenue. I think it's important to note that we've lost, you know, 100% of our revenue. A lot of us are it's our only source of income, so uh, it's been difficult. Kayla Sullivan, CBS 4 News. Kayla, thank you. Many of these venues and artists are taking donations or selling merchandise to keep things going. We have more information about their efforts at CBS4Indy.com.